Shadow Lake here, about five blocks away, is where they started. The Wapaka Curling Club was founded actually in 1879. They curled on the lakes, they curled on the river. As you see by the picture out there, they broke through the river. And then they moved here to this location and they had a shed with open sides. They built this building, I believe, in the 60s and added on ever since. This is where ice lives. You want perfectly level ice, as best you can do. You start by leveling the sand and wetting it slightly, and when it freezes, you keep adding more and more water, layer after layer. It takes nearly a month to make that happen. You paint it, then scraping them, getting the mineral deposits off the ice, and then we will pebble. So you have what we call the lead, the second, the third, and the skip. The skip stands down at the far end and indicates where the stones are supposed to stop as well as the direction of the rotation or the curl. The person who is delivering the stone gets down in the hack with the stone held directly in front of them, a broom or a stabilizer held out to the side. You pull back, the sliding foot slides behind you, and then you push off. They have to release the stone before they get to the hog line. And sweeping the stone affects how far it goes as well as when it starts to curl. You'll hear the skip saying, Typically you curl with the same team for the whole season, um, but it's really a team sport and that's part of the joy of it. Curling is a great social as well as challenging physical sport to use. Curling helps to keep your mind and body in shape. You have to think while you're curling because it is a game that requires strategy, but it also is physical and it's competitive. And one of the really nice things about curling is that you meet people of many ages and it just fills your winter with a lot of fun time. We have events happening almost every evening here during the season. Um, afterwards, when we finish the ice, we come out for what's known as broom stacking. And most nights we have dinner together, we do a potluck, and of course many of us enjoy having a beer after the game. And people will spend from 45 minutes to three hours sitting around the table, um, chatting, telling wild tales. So we're really trying to help people understand what's one of the fastest growing Olympic sports in the world. Mm -hmm.